Hey guys and welcome back. If you've noticed I've been gone for a little while and I really haven't posted in about a month. Now that doesn't mean that I'm getting off YouTube and stopping with cars because that'll probably never happen. But I do have a full-time job, a four-year-old daughter. I just started a program in college and I'm writing a column for a newspaper. So if you're interested in that, by all means search John Engel and Aiken Standard. I've got two columns that are out so far and I do one about each month. So check me out on there as well. Now behind me, you can see that I've got the Porsche. Now I was not the biggest fan of this car when I first bought it. I still feel that it's underpowered, but it is a fun car. And the more that I've been playing with it, the more that I have enjoyed it. You might even notice that on the front there, it is completely blacked out. Now, originally from the factory, they come with these, which are the painted ones that if we were to go over, kind of look like that. And it is a cool look, but I wanted it to be a little more sinister. And seeing that it's a Cayman, sinister is not really what they're known for. I think the blacked outsides look amazing. Now, today we're gonna do something a little different, and that is with the sides. So we've got the side air scoops here. Now on the Caymans, we get these nice vertical lines. On the Boxsters, we have horizontal lines. So what I would like to do is buy a set that will fit this and allow me to have the horizontal lines and I think we're gonna paint them black. Let's take a look at the parts and see what we've got to do next. <laughs> These are the parts that I went ahead and purchased. Now these came off of a Boxster and not a Cayman. Now if you're going to put the horizontal instead of the vertical, you also need to get the back supports before you can do this project because the horizontal and the vertical side scoops will not be interchangeable because of these back pieces. Well, it's time to take off this side vent. And if the internet tells me anything true, I've got to somehow put a screwdriver in here and down here. I wanna show you exactly what you need to know. The bottom one is the one that you work on first by putting a screwdriver directly under it and giving it slight pressure. Now, the older these are, the easier it is to crack these. And I will tell you that the painted piece is the piece that flex. The back piece does not flex at all, so it's basically asking to break. All right, so as you put your screwdriver directly under the painted piece in between the plastic and the painted piece. You give it slight twist while pulling out on this and it will slightly come out. This one up here will still be lodged. So you'll put your screwdriver in there and give it a little flex, whereas that's the one I broke. And then once you get it off like that, it'll pull out because there are some tabs at the top here. You can see these two, but once you get enough of it out, it'll just fall free. So that's how you get the painted piece off now these are genius. They're little push tabs, and then these little fingers, let me see, yep, these little fingers actually hold the push tabs in. So to get this out, you stick a, a screwdriver under the push tab, pull up on it, because as you can see, they've got a little catch. Check that out. Right there, that keeps that retainer in. So if you pull it up, you can start to slide it out. Pull it up, slide it out and you do that with each of the four, and then that just comes right off. I will tell you, after doing one of these, uh, the other side came off so much easier, so knowing that will be half the battle. All right, I'm gonna be 100% honest. This did not go as smoothly and easily as I would have liked. You probably should start at the bottom and try to stick your finger in here and pull out with it. Eventually, I just jerked the whole thing out. I did crack this top one, but you can see now up here and down here is where these little lips. Oh, that one just snapped right off. So I probably just broke that one uh, right th there. See that? That's not what you want. This one up here did not just snap off. However, you can see kind of, it's kind of chiseled away, but it's broken now. Not happy about this at all. However, the white is off. Should we leave these silver and put them in there? And I'm only temporarily putting this in. This obviously does not stay like this. I think they need to be black. I think they need to be black. And we also need to take this subframe out. 
All right, that should help. Yep, there we go. You can see these little tabs. One, two, three, four tabs that hold this little plastic frame in, and that's what holds your grill in. These are what we're gonna swap out so that we can have the Boxster versions that are horizontal instead of the verticals that are on there. So I wanna show you how simple this really is to get these off. Now, when I first did this, I did not realize how simple it was. You just need to lift up on that enough and slide out like that. It is truly that easy. You do this for all four of them, and then when you're done and putting it back in, listen, you hear the snap, that means it's back in. That locks that frame in there and will hold your grill in perfectly. Obviously, Super Clean is not sponsoring this video, but it is one of the best products that you can get. So let's just spray a little Super Clean on that one. A little Super Clean. Oh, and this is the foaming Super Clean. It's one of my favorites. But man, do I feel like I'm out of practice with working on cars lately. Now I am gonna clean up in here just so it's nicer. I mean, while I've got everything out, this would be the time to make sure everything's clean. All right, now we can see kind of what we've got here. You've got one tab here, one tab here, and of course, some difficult ones right here and here. I've put all new ones in so that we can uh, now put in the inner bracket, which if you bear with me here, I did clean it up a little bit so it is nice and clean. You can see how these all have their tabs there. So right now, all we would really need to do Start lining them up. If only everything could go that easily. So that's in there now, and that looks good. We could actually, I don't want to do, but this will actually set in there now. Of course, I'm not gonna push it in because if I push that in, it's gonna be a pain to get out and we've already broken one, so let's not do that. But let's take a look at what it looks like with the silver and with it horizontal. I do like the horizontal better. I think the silver has to be changed to black. All right, so now I need to take this out, clean this, and do some prep work for both of them because they're gonna become black. There are many ways I could do this and there are many ways that I could make this happen and I think I'm gonna go easy and cheap first, which is Plasti Dip. That I know, I hate it too. And I'm curious about that section if it's gonna get hit with rocks, but this will tell me. The good thing about Plasti Dip is I can always take it off, go back to the factory silver, and then have it professionally painted black if that's what I wanna do. But this will at least allow me to do a test trial in black and see if I actually like it. More work. All right. So I'm gonna be 100% honest and let you know that this was not my intention today to make this a paint project. But seeing that if I'm gonna do it and already breaking stuff, I might as well just do it how I would want it. So. Get some alcohol. Make sure that we clean these well. Now, if we were really painting this with like real paint and doing it right, we would obviously sand the surface, maybe even use a primer on it, just to make sure that we get everything off. The good part about this is it's Plasti Dip. So does it matter if we scuff it? Probably but not as much so as if we were really painting it. I know, I'm gonna catch so much hate from the Porsche community for using Plasti Dip on this. And guys, I probably will send these out to have them painted professionally, but I want to do a, you know, a test, a proof of concept, if you will, to make sure that this is what I want. And there's no better way to do that than Plasti Dip, because like I was saying before, I can take that plastic dip and then I can take it off. I can take these up to a paint and body shop and I would have them painted in a semi-gloss and I would just put them back on. So, am I really gonna cry about it? No. Are you guys gonna cry about it? There's a huge possibility that that happens. 
So like I was saying, this is a used can. I'm starting to sweat. It is not a bad day. We've been having 105, 110 heat index, and today feels about 85 with a little humidity. Not my favorite temperature, but my God, compared to what we're used to. Oh, look at that. That is, it might be a used can, but man, she is ready. We're gonna put on multiple coats. I'll probably flash through this because who wants to watch paint dry? So it's the moment of truth and we get to actually fit this on now. It should be a pretty simple job. It should just kind of go in there and get snapped in. There we go. All right, there they go. They're on, it's black. Let's take a look and see what we think. I love it. I think that that was what this needed so badly. Ties it all together. All right, let me finish everything up and we'll do a little before and after. All right, guys, let's look at the before and after. I am truly in love with how this looks. I think it came out perfect. What do you guys think? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? be the greatest everybody on the face shit i look around and feel like everybody is the fakest i make this every day and i'm impatient hoping one day i blow up from the basement statement the top is so vacant i don't need shit that i think is amazing waiting for my day when i'm playing sold out shows for a thousand faces hey give me that crown getting my way and to be put down it ain't your place all this my town if i want that shit then i'll get it right now i'm losing it the noose if it's some loose shit a stupid myth you choose to live or choose to dip you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign Okay, guys, I have to tell you, I am truly in love with how this is coming out. Now, the black wheels came from the factory that way. The black surrounds for the fog lights we added, and we just did the black side vents. I think that it is pulling the whole black sinister kind of more of an aggressive look, if you will, to this little Cayman. Now, I am absolutely in love with this car. The more I drive it, the more I love it. Hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully it helped if you're ever trying to remove those side vents from a Cayman or you could just do like me and break them, it, however you want to do it. Anyway, like, subscribe, share. We'll catch you next time.